Hey guys, Engineer Wannabe here. Today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing. Uh, this is a true unboxing. I've uh, never, never seen these watches. This would be from your confront. And the reason I'm excited is because they're a Canadian micro brand. And, um, you know, generally I, I really like heritage and history. Um, and generally micro brands don't have that. So I don't really get too excited about micro brands. But I am Canadian and it's kind of cool to to have a canadian micro brand um quick uh, disclosure i barely spoke to the owners of this micro brand i barely know them um they didn't send me the watch it was actually uh, half past blog and uh time time to go uh travel and time pieces they sent it to me uh so they are the ones who are in contact with the micro brand the micro brand does not know who i am i'm a nobody <laughs> So, you know, just, just know that, you know, there's no conflict of interest or anything here. Um, but I want to make that known. Um, this odd tape is just to protect the, uh, you know, sensitive information of mine and half glass blogs. Um, I never do these. I don't really do knives, but I do do Leathermans. <laughs> this is a charged TTI. Uh, from back when I used to con um, used to collect Leathermans and a wristwatch check, of course. Oh, that was dangerous. Uh, this is the Omega Seamaster Necton. I got a new strap today. Um, really, really excited about this. The the red really matches the the red on the dial and the second sand. Uh, it's a Hirsch strap. The Hirsch uh, Ayrton. I think that's uh, Senna's first name. Senna, the race car driver. Anyway. Uh, yeah, way off topic. Let's uh, unbox this thing. So there it is, the York and Front. Uh, this is called the Berard. Uh, York and Front is uh, an intersection in downtown Toronto. Uh, I, I've been there so many times. Uh, and yeah, you know, it's it's right by, by home. Um, so it's really cool that they're called York in Front. Uh, the Borard, I think based on what uh, Bob was saying from uh, uh, Time to Go Traveling Time Pieces is a uh, street in, uh, in Western Canada, I think. Anyway, yeah, I really like this packaging. Oh, it's a really nice uh, watch roll. And I saw that uh, Alton had to be a bit careful here, so I'm going to be a bit careful. Whoa, okay, let's see this guy. Wow. Okay, you know what? In, in video and in, in pictures, these look large, but now that I'm holding it, they, they, look, they look just right. Uh, for me, at least. That's the white dog one. Oh man, these are these are really cool. Look at those indices. I love applied Arabics. That is nice. Your front, a really nice uh, case back there. I I will do a review on it. So. Um, I'm not going to measure it right now or do anything like that. Strap is uh, kind of nice. Calf leather strap. Yeah, it's okay. I'm a bit of a strap oh, snob. So. Oh, the buckle is sweet. I do like the buckle. This little York and Front logo there. That is nice detail. Nice attention to detail. Okay, guys, so that's it for the unboxing. Uh, very simple stuff. There's nothing else in this watch roll. Um, let me know if you have any questions about these watches. I am uh, excited to look into them. Remember, guys, this is not, not the review, um, which is why I didn't do any measurements or, or really uh, too much research. I just wanted to capture the unboxing, so to speak. Um, but, yeah, guys, remember, time is short, and you guys are worth it. I appreciate you all, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.